Hello, this is Nicholas Arcieri uh, from Clean PC, and we are going to be reviewing Zenwalk Linux Live 6.4. Um, this particular distribution from Zenwalk uses the XFCE Desktop Manager. As you can see, um, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing. Um, I chose this particular background. Um, right click and choose Desktop Settings. And you can see this is called the Alien Biotope. Uh, which is for 1024 by 768. Um, currently, we are in VirtualBox, uh, running it at 800 by 600, uh, with one gig of RAM and an eight gig hard drive. So you can see um, in the desktop menu, you can choose your background, um, choose the different styles, colors, brightness, saturation. Uh, very nice. You can also change the menu preferences, as well as some icons. So. Uh, again, if you right click, you see the menu that you get. Um, and you can launch your applications from here if you want. You have the option to do that. Uh, or if you're coming from a Windows based environment, um, you know, you can click on the little icon up here and you get the menu here as well. So, and there is an application launcher down here on this toolbar. And so we'll go ahead and launch the default browser. And this is IceCat, which is a rebranded version of Firefox. So up here in the Help menu, and we can see this is based off of 3.6.3. So um, one of the nice features is that if you type the name of the URL, you can still use the Control Enter function uh, to fill in the www and the .com which is a really nice feature. And if we look down here at DistroWatch, we can see that Zenwalk is pretty much in the middle of the pack at number 46. So just as a point of reference. And if you want, you can visit their homepage, find a little bit more about Zenwalk. Um, you can see they have five actually editions of Zenwalk. So really anything to kind of uh, get the flavor that you want. They have a lot of different options, which is really nice. So one of the nice things about Zenwalk, if we go up here, you can see that um, if we go and have a lot of settings that you're able to alter, um, appearance being one of them, and you can actually go through here and change the look of the windows to kind of suit your taste, which is really nice. Um, a lot of distributions do this. Um, how well is kind of subject to change, but I think they do a very nice job. Um, a lot of different options, so which is really nice. And this icon right here in the launcher is actually the one that lets you go in here and change the settings. So you can actually look at the preferred apps, and you could change that if you want. Um, the mail reader is iced of which is rebranded um, Thunderbird. You can see some other stuff uh, under the desktop settings. You can look at the file manager and just lots of different options. This uh, Thunwalk Live 6.4 is very customizable which is really nice. Um, you can see we can look at the desktop again. We went there earlier. We can look at the display again running 8 by 6. Yeah, you can get to the appearance from here. You can actually take a look at the window manager, which is really nice as well. Customize that. Uh, accessibility, which is really good. You can customize the panel, which is always nice. You can see where it's currently positioned. And the power manager. And currently we are running on a laptop even though this is running within VirtualBox but it does pick it up which is really nice. Uh, I had no problems configuring the hardware which is always a nice feature. Linux has come a long way with that. So some of the other uh, programs up here on this panel you have your media player, uh, this is your mail icon you can launch into terminal um, and one of the nice things about the terminal on this is that 
it gives you this desktop background view. And as you go into here, you can see, being a live CD, we don't have anything in here, but very, very nice terminal. Uh, I like the background effects. Very aesthetically pleasing. File manager is Thunar. Um, when you click on this icon, it actually gives you the option uh, to view all these different shortcuts, which is really cool. So if we take a look at the file system, you can go into any of these directories. It has the path bar up here at the top, which I like. And you can click through. And it's using Thunar 102. Seems to be very snappy, though. Taking a look at the menu again, um, so in the multimedia menu you have Bracero to burn your discs, CD player, uh, G Music Browser, ISO Master, which is actually a really nice program, media player, you have your mixer, your sound recorder, uh, your stream tuner for uh, internet radio, and volume control. Office, they chose OpenOffice. Um, there's kind of a debate between OpenOffice and LibreOffice and uh, using Abbey Word and GNumeric. Um, I prefer Abbey Word and GNumeric myself, but opens very quickly. Um, again, this distribution is very snappy, so it's kind of a nice uh, thing to have Office open so quickly. Same thing with OpenOffice Calc. So, uh, graphic-wise, you have GIMP, which is a really great program. Network, you have, again, IceCat, IceDove, Pigeon. Transmission, GFTP. One of the really nice features uh, is under the development tools you have Genie. Uh, I prefer this for development. I really like this tool. Um, some distributions don't really include any development tools. They'll just include LeafPad or TextPad. Um, so having Genie is really nice. Um, anytime I code, I choose to code in Genie. Very, very nice tool to have. Again, just kind of going through accessory wise, you can see the different stuff that you have in here. Take a screenshot and drop into the terminal. You have XPad on here as well. And again, they do a nice job in the settings, really letting you customize this distribution. Um, especially seeing as it's a live CD, some distributions really don't go to this extent to really give you the control that Zenwalk does. Um, so, this is really nice to see. Same thing under system, you can go in and see all the different options that you have. So, overall, I really like this distribution. Um, I would probably give it a four and a half out of five stars. I think it's uh, aesthetically pleasing, quick and efficient. Um, I think it's good for Linux first timers. Uh, if you've never tried Linux, this isn't a bad distribution to start off with. Uh, it's not as mainstream as Ubuntu or Mint, um, but it's pretty easy to navigate around. And uh, I really think if you, you haven't tried it, this would be a good place to start. So, again, um, this is the... Linux distribution review for Zenwalk Linux version 6.4. This is Nicholas Arcieri, and this is actually my first Linux distribution review. So, would appreciate uh, any feedback. Uh, just be gentle. Don't be too harsh, and uh, appreciate your time.